What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. I am Mr. King Sense. And on this channel, fragrances are not just another hobby, but they're a lifestyle. Our goals over here are to be your best, look your best, and smell your best. Now, if that's something that has your attention, show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody had a blessed week, blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the feature presentation. So today, guys, we're talking about nothing but greatness from the house of Dior, and it's none other than Dior Own Parfum. Dior Own Parfum, all right? Guys, this one is very much sought after in the fragrance community, guys. Very, very uh, difficult to get your hands on, okay? Um, but we're gonna talk about that later. All right, here is the juice. Okay, here is that beautiful gold and amber color juice, all right? And um, for anybody that wants the batch code, we have batch 1C01 from what it looks like, okay? I don't know if we can get that to focus. All right, but we got 1C01, all right? So, real quick, guys, before we get into uh, this juice, let's get into the official note breakdown, all right? Before I tell you what this smells like. All right, guys, so for the official note breakdown, at the top, we have Tuscan Iris and Italian Orange, all right? At the heart, we have Leather, we have Rose, and at the base, we have Sandalwood. We have Amberette or Musk Mallow. We have Agarwood, which is Oud, all right? And then we have Cedar, okay? So that is the official note breakdown. All right, so now that we have the official note breakdown, let's go ahead and get into the juice, all right? What does this juice smell like? And how good is it or how bad is it, okay? Mm. All right. So I gave it two good sprays. All right, you see the atomizer on this thing is nothing short of being amazing, all right? Guys, this one. Up top, you get this smooth, bold, uh, dark leather cord, okay? Guys, and then I get soft, elegant touches of that powdery iris cord. All right, so you have to, you have to have uh, some type of liking for iris fragrances, guys, because typically when you smell an iris fragrance, uh, it's gonna be very iris dominant, okay? This is one of those fragrances that uh, is, it does lean towards uh, being iris dominant, but I do feel like the iris is more down back than in the intense version. In the intense version, uh, it's very much iris forward. This one uh, dows the iris back just a touch, just a touch, okay? But it's still very noticeable and detectable for sure. Uh, but guys, I get this warm, milky, uh, creamy, woody sweetness. Uh, and I believe that's from the sandalwood, okay? So, there is a soft, uh, delicate presence of Italian orange. So you definitely get some citruses in here, uh, but it's, it's, it's just slightly citrusy, okay? Then guys, I'm picking up on this deep, warm, musky, oud, uh, accord okay um, definitely oud is present uh, in the forefront okay so if you don't like oud fragrances uh, you will not like this one okay um, does come off uh, kind of chocolatey as well I must say that uh, I wouldn't really classify this as a gourmand fragrance but guys it does have this this chocolatey uh, energy to it okay and I believe that's just everything blending together uh, that's giving a chocolate vibe to it. But uh, guys, again, the citruses is in here, uh, but I feel like the, the Italian orange is in the background, okay? 
it's just very very uh, light and delicate all right but so guys we're talking about a fragrance that is refined debonair regal guys sexual divine and just downright a masterpiece guys an absolute masterpiece you have to experience this this greatness for yourself guys get your nose on a decant on a sample of this juice guys get it please get it guys i'm gonna say this this fragrance not only demands its attention but guys this literally put an imprint in the fragrance community guys absolutely absolutely guys what i also say is if you've never witnessed a fragrance that has a story behind it guys this is one of those fragrances there's absolutely a story behind this fragrance for sure guys this is an experience in a bottle that you just you have to you gotta witness it for yourself guys. all right so guys let's talk about the performance on this one guys Dior own parfum um i feel like for the first four to six hours you get this warm uh pleasant scent bubble around you that you'll be able to detect upon yourself uh, again for the first four six hours then i feel like it it tends to uh, die down or sit closer to the skin and, and your clothes for an additional 10 to 12 hours but still detectable as well so we're talking a good uh six 14 to 16 hours plus uh and then additional on your clothes we're talking about uh eternal so this thing will last on your clothes uh for days man for days very potent uh uh very powerful juice right here in this bottle guys i mean you can tell by the color of it man this thing is uh well crafted well blended uh just <laughs> just a masterpiece in every class guys i'm trying to tell you uh if i had to rate this fragrance guys i'm gonna give dior own parfum a 10 out of 10 hands down 10 out of 10 hands down all right uh there is a disclaimer guys i will say uh this fragrance i'm going to recommend personally for 30 and up this one is for my mature guys out there only uh if you're some of my younger subscribers out there guys or if you're a younger uh, individual that's watching this video uh, i'm going to say uh this is not for the younger individuals guys this is uh grown and sexy only all right if you are one of those individuals that are uh you know very mature for your age you might appreciate what this fragrance brings to the community uh but uh for the most part like i said 30 and up only okay um can a woman wear this fragrance i'm gonna say yes but at the same time, uh, guys, this is not something that I would want to smell with my woman. Uh, it does lean uh, very masculine in my opinion, but I, I still feel like it's powdery enough. It, it, it has, uh, there is some rose in there. So you definitely have a floral aspect to it. Uh, but again, guys, for me, this is not something that I would want to smell with my woman, okay? But uh, if you're a woman who is daring, you can pull this off, okay? All right, so where can this one be worn to, Mr. King said. So, uh, guys, I'm going to say, in my opinion, this one is too good for the office, man. Um, you know, but it can be pulled off in the office setting, in the office environment. Uh, it's, it's your opinion. It's your choice when you're spending your hard-earned dollars. But in my humble opinion, this was just a little bit too upscale for the office, guys. Uh, but I'm going to say best for date night, um, special occasions, events. Anything that's formal or casual, guys, this one is ready to play. All right. That's my humble opinion. Uh, so, again, you know, when you're spending your money, you wear it wherever and whenever. But uh, I'm going to say that it's best suitable for those occasions only. All right. So, right now, guys, Dior Own Parfum is rumored to be discontinued. Uh, but I do know that it has been recently available in the UK as well as Paris, France. All right. So, um, guys you know you're gonna have to search high and low to really get your hands on this fragrance uh just because it's not readily available uh in the states all right so all right so guys if you have this fragrance 
Let us know what's your thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, do you feel this is the greatest fragrance ever created? Uh, do you believe that Dior has set the bar for designer houses? Uh, because this one here is, uh, it's on a niche level, guys. And actually better than most niche uh, perfume or colognes that have been released to date. This one here, guys, is it's way up there. This one is way up there, guys. So uh, do you feel the same way? All right. Let's talk about it down below. And uh, until the next time, guys, be blessed, be safe. And Mr. King Sense is out.